Voters in Taiwan head to the polls this weekend to elect a president. And amid the issues of jobs and the economy, evolving relations with mainland China, and regional stability, nuclear power has emerged as a central and controversial issue for all three of the candidates in Saturday's vote. For more, we're joined by Pei Te Lian. She's a professor in the Department of Political Science at the University of California at Santa Barbara and a native of Taiwan. Welcome to FSRN. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. All three of the primary candidates have addressed nuclear power one time or another. One of them, Democratic Progressive Party Chairwoman Tsai Leng Wen, uh, proposed a plan called the 2025 Nuclear Free Home Plan. That's in which three of the working plants now would be retired in 2025 when they're scheduled um, to end. How do you see a proposal like that in the context of this election? Um, I think it is almost an inevitable, inevitable trend that somebody will propose this, and, and there will be an ideal state uh, that when Taiwan will be nuclear power free, uh, that Taiwan would be able to find a solution to its power need by using perhaps increasingly more uh, reliance on a safer alternative power, such as, uh, I guess, solar power. But uh, I, I believe it should be a welcoming position. Uh, but of course, I know the concern of the opposition, the, the, the current sitting party is that Taiwan has this need and need, imminent need that need to be addressed. And that Taiwan is a, is a um, basically resource pool uh, island and that that nuclear power has been the cheapest way and the most efficient way for the government uh, for the island to try to power uh, you know its uh, its many, its industry well taiwan does depend on nuclear power for at least some of its needs two of the power plants that are operating now they're located in the northernmost region of taiwan and they use a general electric design for their boiling water reactors that are similar to the ones that were operating at Fukushima. And they have come under criticism from grassroots groups from within Taiwan because of that. How much did Fukushima and the crisis in Japan change this issue for the elections in Taiwan? Well, um, I know certainly because of the nuclear disaster in Japan, uh, Taiwan's people has been made more aware of the risk they are they are facing. Uh, however, I believe in Taiwan's politics, the main issue is actually not on nuclear issues, but on the relationship between the mainland and Taiwan. So the independence independence issue. Um, my perspective as somebody uh, who used to be there. When in a time when people were struggling uh, to make ends meet, uh, when Taiwan was still developing rather than developed, at that time, uh, environmental issue uh, and the nuclear issue is not an issue. It was just out of necessity that government, uh, also authoritarian government at that time, we were just convinced that there's no other option. Uh, but I know things have changed profoundly, and people now are middle class, mostly middle class, and uh, they have been increasingly conscious about the environment, not only just its local, uh, its island, uh, but also global. Actually, Taiwan is part of the global system, so uh, we also felt responsible uh, for the global security and global environmental quality rather than just uh, the people in Taiwan uh, themselves. You mentioned issues of security, environmental issues. There's also a fourth plant that's in the process of being built in New Taipei City. That's on the northeastern coast of Taiwan. It has been opposed by local residents, by environmentalists. They have called for a referendum um, on the project. How has this production of a, of a new plant entered into the dialogue? Uh, it has it has become an issue. It has become a more central issue than the uh, ruling party would like it to be, and I think that's a good thing uh, because, indeed, uh, as I said before, that the the nuclear security in Taiwan is not just a Taiwan's issue. Well, of course, we all know that. Um, the uh, the it, it is a good thing uh, for the opposition party to try to raise this issue to the awareness of the people in Taiwan. Um, 
and they, then this forces the ruling party to try to address uh, the issue, uh, even though in the previous years they seem to try to underplay the issue or just to the neglect of the concerns of local people. And therefore, we know that there are uh, serious and continuous issues of protest um, and, and expressions of concern from, from the parties that you mentioned uh, in, in, the, in, in the beginning of your for the broadcast. Pei Te Lian is a professor at the Department of Political Science at the University of California at Santa Barbara. She joined us to talk about the upcoming presidential elections in Taiwan this weekend. Thank you for joining us. You're very welcome. Thank you.